Hello children, welcome back to Uma Talks and uh, yes, today I'm back uh, with another topic you can say for 11th standard biology that is uh, today we'll discuss about C4 pathway and photorespiration. Okay, Calvin cycle or C3 pathway we did yesterday. Now Calvin uh, cycle that is common, okay, and over there we also discussed that uh, there are two types of CO2 acceptors. It means two types of plants, okay. One is where we have C3 acid, okay, and the other one is where we have C4 acid which is oxaloacetic acid, okay. So uh, today we are going to take this one. Now children, what is the difference between uh, uh, C3 plants and C4 plants? Now C4 plants actually uh, are the tropical plants you can say. Okay, or you can say that the vascular bundles of these plants have a wreath of bundle sheet cells. Okay, which are richly supplied with chloroplast wreath. You understand a big wreath uh, means they are surrounded okay by a circle of um, bundle sheet cells, large um, uh, bundle sheet cells, and these bundle sheet cells are very rich in chloroplast. Okay, uh, and uh, they are also impermeable to gases, water, they do not allow anything to pass through them. So that is again a characteristic feature of sepal plants, maize, sorghum, okay, they are the examples of these kinds of plants. And uh, in these kinds of plants, what, uh, what happens, okay, uh, normally it is the mesophyll cells where uh, actually the CO2 fixation takes place, the carbon dioxide fixation takes place, but in C4 plants, it is the bundle sheet cells actually where CO2 fixation takes place, carbon dioxide fixation takes place. Okay, so these are the differences and in the last class only I have discussed that uh, oxaloacetic acid, okay, in C4 plants, that is the first uh, compound which is formed, okay, and the acceptor of uh, CO2, the CO2 acceptor is phosphoenol pyruvate, okay, PEP it is said in your textbook it will be PEP phosphoenol pyruvate, PEP is the CO2 acceptor and the first compound which is formed after the PEP accepts this uh, PEP is a 3 carbon compound, okay, phosphoenol pyruvate is a 3 carbon compound and then CO3, CO2, suppose HCO3 plus it is written, okay, CO2 plus H2O, H2CO3 we say, so it is like that. So this HCO3 or you can write CO2. So uh, this is a 3 carbon compound and 1 carbon from here becomes uh, C4. So before I come to this particular uh, Hatch and Slack, this is also known as C4 pathway or Hatch and Slack pathway. Now children, uh, you must be very very particular. You must know what different names the particular cycle is called. Okay, so this Hatch and Slack pathway or C4 pathway, I have written both. Uh, you can be asked during the examination, okay, depict C4 pathway or uh, draw a well labeled diagram for Hatch and Slack pathway or give Hatch and Slack pathway. So any uh, name it may be asked, this is the same one. Now let us begin. Okay, so when we talk about, when we cut a section of the leaf, okay, a maize or a sorghum leaf, a C4 plant, okay, we will see that the mesophyll cells are there, okay, the first mesophyll cells and then we have the bundle sheet, okay, the connection between them, that is plasmodesmata, one cell is connected to the other with the help of this plasmodesmata, the, the cells which connect or the pathway which connects two cells is plasmodesmata, so mesophyll cells by bundle sheet cells, the connection between them is known as plasmodesmata. Now, uh, half of the portion takes place, actually the pathway starts in mesophyll cells and uh, as I told you that Calvin cycle is common to all types of plants. It will take place in all the type of plants, whether it is a C3 plant or a C4 plant, whatever plant it is, but uh, 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 where it takes place, that is uh, the main uh, difference, the main problem, okay. So in C3 plants, the, it takes place in mesophyll cells, while in C4 plants, it takes place in bundle sheet cells. I'll let you know how. So uh, finally children what happens carbon dioxide from the atmosphere now this particular uh, um, you can say the bulb that is mesophyll cells and the lower one denotes bundle sheet cells okay. So this is a double void layer it is said okay. So atmospheric CO2 enters into mesophyll cells and that uh, along with the phosphoenol pyruvate I told you that phosphoenol pyruvate is the compound which fixes carbon dioxide which comes from the atmosphere okay and what is the enzyme which uh, helps in the fixation that is 
PEP carboxylase. Now phosphoenol pyruvate also can be written as PEP. So because PEP fixes carbon dioxide, okay, it is known as PEP and the enzyme which is required is PEP carboxylase. Okay, so PEP carboxylase, it is fixed. And finally, a C4 acid is formed. So three carbon compound and one carbon over here from CO2 becomes C4 acid. And the compound, the acid which is known is OAA, that is oxaloacetic acid. Okay, it passes through, it is transported to the bundle sheet cells uh, through the plasmodesmata. Okay, comes over here in bundle sheet cells and finally this C4 acid, okay, is decarboxylated, means uh, the carbon dioxide is separated from it, okay, it breaks down into a C3 compound, that is a C3 acid, and now this C3 acid may be a malic acid or maybe aspartic acid, any acid it can be, okay, so uh, it releases carbon dioxide, this is what I have mentioned, okay, so in, after decarboxylation, carbon dioxide is released and C3 acid, okay, it may be malic or aspartic. Now this carbon dioxide from here enters into the Calvin cycle. So uh, this carbon dioxide and over here the enzyme Rubisco is also there. Rubisco enzyme was important in Calvin cycle if you remember okay which carried out both oxygenase and uh, decarboxylase matlab dono activity. Carbon dioxide se bhi wo uh, uh, fix karega and it will also fix oxygen. It is uh, um, it has got affinity towards both. So this particular enzyme which has been present in uh, Calvin cycle is present over here in the bundle sheet cells okay, of a hatch and slack pathway. Uh, while in the mesophyll cells, PP carboxylase is present. That is why Calvin cycle does not take place over here. So this carbon dioxide after decarboxylation enters into Calvin cycle in the presence of Rubisco enzyme. And the C3 acid again it is transported okay, into the through the plasmodesmata, it comes over here into the mesophyll cells. And this mesophyll cells, okay, the regeneration takes place. Regeneration of what? Regeneration of this phosphoenol pyruvate. Got it? So that is how the cycle is maintained. The phosphoenol pyruvate is again ready for accepting another CO2. So CO2 se fir se combined hoga in the presence of PP carboxylase form C4 acid. Okay, it is transported. Then uh, transported into bundle sheet, again decarboxylated, CO2 is uh, released, that CO2 enters into Calvin cycle and Rubisco enzyme is already there in the bundle sheet cells, so that helps. And uh, the C3 acid is also there, C3 acid breaks down into, C4 acid breaks down into CO2 and C3 acid. Now C3 acid may be malic or aspartic. So this is transported, this is This is transported, okay, uh, into, uh, you can say the mesophyll cells, okay, and finally helps in the regeneration of PEP, that is phosphoenol pyruvate, and this is how the cycle continues, okay. So, hope you must have understood. Now, my next topic today is photorespiration. Yes, photorespiration. Normally, as I told you, that this RUBP, okay, ribulose biphosphate, um, and uh, um, uh, uh, what happens when it combines with carbon dioxide in the presence of what? Rubisco. Okay, Rubisco is the enzyme. Okay, Rubisco is the enzyme. So, in the presence of Rubisco, okay, it forms two molecules of 3 phosphoglyceric acid. And uh, let me tell you, children, that it has got more affinity towards carbon dioxide towards carbon dioxide. So if oxygen carbon dioxide is both there in maximum of amount, okay, so it will combine with like a dono mein se jo jada rahega, usse wo combine kar lega. But it has the affinity to combine with oxygen also. So, uh, uh, but if it combines with oxygen, it may form phosphoglycolate and phosphoglycerate. So this uh, problem comes during Calvin cycle, that is during C3 pathway. So C3 pathway may thoda sa problem hota hai that this can also be formed and uh, little of oxygen RUBP may combine with oxygen okay and uh, it may also form phosphoglycerate and phosphoglycolate but that is not the problem over here. Okay C4 pathway mein ye problem nahi hai why because 
over here when it is released where co2 is released in bundle sheet cells the co2 concentration will be higher okay and rubisco enzyme will have enough of carbon dioxide to unite with here like mesophyll cells it will not have oxygen carbon dioxide both at the same time so there it will uh, be by chance that it may combine with this it may combine with the other one whichever is at a larger amount and sometimes it may combine with the other one and that will decrease the productivity if it combines with oxygen okay it will decrease the productivity of the photosynthesis this is what uh, the biosynthetic pathway the biosynthetic pathway ka uh, kya hai product formation as a result of photosynthesis so agar oxygen se combine karenge aur ye form ho hoga so it is useless okay then uh, it goes waste so photo respiration can be said to be a wasteful process okay but uh, in hatch and slack pathway it does not take place that is uh, the whole story about it let me see if i missed something then i can uh, yes i did i told you that uh, the vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheet cells okay and that is known as crans anatomy what it is known as crans crans anatomy okay so this is known as crans anatomy when the bundle sheet cells when a thick bundle sheet cells okay like a wreath surrounds the vascular bundles it is known as crans anatomy and uh, yes that uh, was what i had left pp phosphonyl pyruvate are you bp plus co2 yes that i have done two molecules binds with oxygen one molecule of pot called photo yes 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 hmm. when phosphoglyceric acid okay here you can say that when phosphoglyceric acid pga is one no so phosphoglyceric acid combines with oxygen forms phospho and this is what is the example of photorespiration and this is a wasteful process okay this is a wasteful process so that is all about it एंड कार्बो रिबिस्को को मैंने बताया कि उसमें कार्बो ऑक्सीलेज और ऑक्सीजनेज ऑक्सीजनेशन मतलब कार्ब सीओ टू और ऑक्सीजन दोनों से कंबाइन करने की कैपेसिटी है और दोनों के साथ रिएक्शन को स्पीड इनअप करने की कैपेसिटी है सो दैट इज वॉट इज स्पेशल फीचर अबाउट दिस रिबिस्को एनजाइम ओके तो रिबिस्को का वो स्पेशल फीचर है एंड रिबिस्को अगर है तो वो क्या करेगा मिनिमाइज कर देगा और यहाँ पे क्या करता है वो उसकी ऑक्सीजनेज एक्टिविटी को मिनिमाइज कर देता है कार्बो ऑक्सीज एक्टिविटी इज एनलार्ज एंड हेंस इट एंटर्स इन टू कैलविन साइकिल एंड नो फोटो रेस्पिरेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन हैच एंड स्लैक पाथवे सो विद दिस वी कंप्लीट फोटो रेस्पिरेशन एंड हैच एंड स्लैक पाथवे इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लास वी डू फैक्टर्स एफेक्ट इन फोटो सिंथिस and with that we'll come to the end of the chapter okay so um, let me know okay and if you have liked the video do put a thumbs up and comment okay uh, share and uh, not subscribe subscribe because now i'm planning to put uh, videos on the channel so that even if i don't post it for you you can see it for yourself so that will only happen if you subscribe you'll get the notification thank you all thank you for watching thank you so much